In this video, we are gonna take a look in, inside a Lightroom Classic at something really cool, which is getting your photos that you've already put into collections, AKA albums, getting those over onto your phone, right? So as an example here, you can see I've got this album or collection that I've created inside of Lightroom. I have synced this with Lightroom's Adobe's Creative Cloud. And as you can see here, I can see these same exact photos over on my phone, okay? All I had to do is, is essentially just go to, to one little place to, to click and I'll be able to see them on my phone rather than email them my, to myself or use any other cloud service. It's all, you're already in inside Lightroom. You can already sync with Adobe's cloud service, you know, with Lightroom's cloud service here. So why leave that ecosystem when it's all done for you, okay? By the way, my name is Matt, and uh, this is my series on how to get the most from your Adobe subscription. So I hope you're enjoying these videos. Make sure you go back and watch some of the other ones if you haven't yet. So first things first, we're in Lightroom Classic. I will show you how to do this in the other Lightroom, the cloud version on the desktop as well, but we're in Lightroom Classic. This is what most people are using. And go up to the top left corner, click on your little identity plate there. You, number one, have to be syncing with Lightroom, all right? You'll know because it, it says sync is on. You'll see like a little play button if it's not. Right now I see a pause button. So you've gotta be syncing with Lightroom. You've got to be signed in. This is March of 2020. You've also got to be using the latest version of Lightroom. So may, a version just came out a couple of weeks ago. Make sure you're updated. Next thing I'm going to do before I even do this tutorial is point you to, see right, right below there, it says sync FAQs. Again, if you're not using the late, latest version of Lightroom, you might not see this because this little FAQ thing just came out, but it says sync FAQs. It's going to take you to a page. Folks, if you have a question on what is being synced, what counts against your cloud storage, where it's being synced to, how big are the files, what can you sync, how, um, where can you find the images, what's the difference, blah. If you've got a question on any of that stuff, this is the place to come, okay? Unfortunately, if it's not covered here, I can't answer for you. I, I already know I'm going to get a hundred questions from people that says, you know, how... Uh, you know, how big are the files? Does this count against my creative cloud storage? I know those are the two big ones and they're covered here. But what I can tell you is that if you follow what I'm about to do here, all right, and you're going to right click and sync a collection with Lightroom. If you follow what I'm about to do here, this does not count against your creative cloud storage and it stores smart previews, which are around 2,000, 2,500 pixels in size. You could Google how big is an Adobe smart preview, you'll find the answer, but um, that's the size of the image. Whether it was a RAW or JPEG, that's the size of the image, okay? So we're inside a Lightroom Classic. We have created a collection. Come up here to your collections panel, click on that little plus icon, create collection, not a smart collection, not a collection set. It's gotta be a collection. Now. It can be located in a collection set if you wanted it to be, but the only thing you can sync is a collection. You can't right click and sync a smart or a collection set. So I've got one here, I'm gonna right click, and then I've already done it, so you'll see here it says sync with Lightroom. It's checked, so I've already turned that on. You'll also see a little lightning bolt arrow icon just to the left of it. That means that's another way to get to the same place, but I usually just right click and turn sync with Lightroom make sure that that is turned on. The moment you do that, all of these photos are gonna get synced up to your Creative Cloud account in smart preview versions. It's not, if these are all raw photos, it's not gonna take all of the raw photos, put them up to your Adobe Creative Cloud account and count against your storage. They will go up there in smart previews and they won't count against your storage, okay? So they are now up there. Now, let's flip over, go over to your phone. On your phone, you've got to go and you've got to install the Adobe Lightroom app on your phone. You go to your app store, it works on uh, Android, works on iOS. You install that app and you use your Creative Cloud ID, uh, account ID to sign in. That's how it knows to show you your photos rather than some random person who downloaded the app as well. Right? And you've got to be a Creative Cloud subscriber to do this. So once you do that, you can see I've got quite a few collections synced here, but you will see right over here is my landscapes collection that I synced. So I can just tap on that and now that's gonna show me 
all of those photos that I had over on my desktop. So I don't need to email myself the photos. I don't need to put them in Dropbox or use Google, whatever it is. I'm doing it all through the Adobe ecosystem. So you could go in here and uh, you could tap on a photo. Uh, it'll show you a larger version of that photo. And then you'll also see you have all of your editing tools down there at the bottom. I'm going to cover that in another video. So I'm not really going to dive in or cover anything about editing in this video here. This one is more about essentially to me, this is you having access to your favorite photos on all of your devices. So when I go out with friends or family, I can now pull this up. And I can say, hey, I took a trip to, you know, I took a trip to Venice. So, you know, here's, here's my Venice photos and they can scroll through Venice photos. Or, you know, if you want to share to Instagram or social media, especially Instagram, because you can't share to Instagram through the desktop. Yes, there's little hacks and ways to do it, but it's against the Instagram terms of service. And, and there's no real good apps that'll really stick when it comes to that. But so you could get your phone or your photos over to your phone and then you could just tap and there's a little share icon. It's the, uh, it's the universal, it's like a little box with an up arrow in the top of the thing there. So you just tap on that and you can see I've got some options over here for sharing. Um, I can, you know, export this to my, my uh, phone's camera roll if I wanted to, but I can get all of my sharing done right there. Rather than me, you know, again, you know, take going on a great trip and then going out and saying, oh man, I forgot to email myself these photos or I forgot to put them in Dropbox or whatever. You're using Lightroom to organize these things. Take advantage of that organization that you've already done and you instantly get that collection or that album that you created over onto your phone so that you can share, you can do what you want, you can show them off. And I say phone, but it could also be your tablets too. So it'll work on your, your Lightroom app, will work on phone and tablet, and you'll see exactly the same thing. Okay, last thing before we, uh, before we leave on this one, if you're using Lightroom, not Lightroom Classic, if you're using Lightroom, right? When you create an album or collection inside of Lightroom, you can go and you can share that as well. Uh, you'll notice over here, if I right click on one share and invite, uh, the other thing is, is if you're using again, Lightroom, anything that you've shared from Lightroom classic will automatically show up there. Okay. Think of this, think of Lightroom as just another version of the app that we're using on the phone. All right. So now I'm over here on my phone. Again, all these same collections that we're, we're scrolling through here. Think of, think of this version of Lightroom, this cloud version that's on my desktop or could be my laptop. It's just another version of the app that you see on your phone. But if you do share anything from Lightroom Classic, okay, if you right click and you click sync with Lightroom and you're sharing that collection, that will actually automatically appear in all versions of Lightroom, whether it's the Lightroom cloud version on a laptop or desktop or whether it's the app on your phone and tablet.